Whew, man. That was a wonder- oh! We should've grabbed the access card from the chest. Oh wow, they've hooked us up with some stuff this morning. Oh my gosh, well hello everybody out there. My name is Brock and welcome to the SS, and uh, it's a very strange name, this ship that I've, that I've, uh, I've purchased a cruise upon. The SS Cruise Ship Down? I don't, I don't know, I don't know why it's, uh, it's called that. Apparently it was built by Mr. Sintometa. Sin, Sintomet, Sintometa. If you'd like to also get tickets on the boat, the link will be in the description, you can go check that out. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm just gonna be, uh, just filming my day, just filming my day around. Uh, for whatever reason, it appears as though... Uh, they've they've stocked me with uh, a sword, a gun, and some armor this morning. Ask me why. I don't know. Why'd you ask me? You're talking to a video. Um, apparently it's discreet chainmail. What does that mean? It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't look very discreet to me. I think if you saw somebody walking down the hall in this, you'd be a little bit frightened. Um, right. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pistol. I guess. Uh, I feel kind of wrong taking two sets. Uh, they might have assumed that I was bunking with someone, so I don't, you know, I, I feel bad about that. It's like stealing. I'll let them have that back. Wow, they gave us a lot of food. Goodness great, that'll last me like years. Objectives. By question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, dude, he's my best friend. I love that guy. And also we have the barroom access card. Uh, apparently etched into the bottom of the card is C418 blocks, which is, uh, which is some kind of, uh, secret code. Agent! As you know, we have reason to believe that Vincent v v v uh, uh, the host of this private cruise ship party, is involved with distributing weapons illegally across the globe. He's invited a few of his close friends to join him in celebrating one of his new business ventures. You are posing as Pierre Rare. Oh man, that's a fantastic name. And yes, I, I mean, I already, I already I knew, I knew that already. The business partner, Viville, that's what we'll call him, is starting this new business with... What? Oh. Oh, I'm his partner. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I knew that already. That was already, I was aware. Uh... The two have never spoken face to face, so as long as you are convincing enough, you should be fine. Your objective is to get close to Vincent Viville and try to find out any useful information concerning his involvement with the arms dealing. Good luck, Agent. Some equipment has been smuggled on board just for you, just in case. That's right! I fooled you all and I knew of this the whole time. I'm actually a secret agent named... P uh, 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 Pierre Rare, ha! You thought I was just on the cruise ship. Well, you're wrong. You can still get tickets in the description, though. It's totally legit. Right! I think everyone's at the bar right now. I should use the elevator to get up there. All right, not before searching around. Zed Zalias. Hey, Zed. You in here? You got goodies? Oh, he didn't get equipped with the same swag I got equipped with. I'm sorry. What's your name? Zed. I will write you right down on my death note. Oh, sweet. Ex these are very exquisite apples I have in my hand. I don't know why I picked that word. It's not like it's, it's labeled. That'd be crazy. Hmm. Mysterious button is mysterious. Should I press it? I'm gonna look around a little bit longer. That's the elevator. That's the, that's the... Ladies and gentlemen, that's the elevator. That would be the thing that looks a lot like an elevator. That's the elevator. I am <laughs> just too clever. Richie Rich! Oh man, what are you up to, Richie Rich? Oh, roll it. Oh, should we steal this? Yeah, screw Richie Rich. I mean, he's got Rich at, twice in his name. He's gotta have some money. He doesn't need this. Simon Brindley! Aww! Can I steal Jaffa Cakes? He doesn't have... How could you not put Jaffa Cakes in Simon's room? He's not gonna be happy about that. Well, let me tell you right now, that is gonna put him off right... Right... Who's is this? Cole Denier. Cole Denier. He didn't... Cole, the, Cole didn't get anything either. These are very, very... They, they have a lot of favoritism on this boat. I don't think... I think that they're picking favorites with their, with their passengers. I mean, not everybody even gets everything. All right, to the elevator. Wow, I didn't even get to... We can finish listening to my song. All right, it's time to go super super stealth. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Is oh. is he dead? What does it look like? You did? We need to remain calm. Ugh, I need a drink. It was one of you, wasn't it? One of you killed my brother. Don't be ridiculous. There's the beer around. But here. it was you, wasn't it? Down on your luck. Need a bit of cash, huh? We should not be throwing unfounded accusations at each other. Hmm. Well, it would appear that Vincent Vaville appears to have been decapitated. Oh dear. Everyone, please don't panic. Just, uh, just don't look at it. That'll help. Oh, thanks, bartender. You're always sorting out the issues. I've been told that you are all need to, you all need to return to your cabins while I stay here and get drunk. You didn't have to include that part. You could have just kept that to yourself, and nobody would have had to, had to look. 
Had to uh, think any less of you, but now people think less of you. Riley Vivil. Oh, okay, so it must be... Oh. Help, you say? He oh, wait, no, right. Oh. I think it's a bit late for that now. My brother's dead. He's... Dead. Everyone was ushered out of the room, and you've been returned to your cabin. It looks like the mission is a failure, but perhaps you can still get some information from the other guests. You should visit them in their cabins. However, beware, there's a possibility that one of them could be of the murderer. Oh my gosh, this is some intense stuff. I mean, I'm aware of this. I am a trained member of the CSISASI, and I am going to go to... Oh, hello. Throughout this map, you might... Map? What, what, are, you, what, are, you, what are you... Don't look at that. Don't stop looking at that. You may find unique items that belong to others. This could be an important clue, so make sure you don't lose them. Oh man, I'm not one to lose things. Zed Zalias. Huh? Hello, Zed. That totally doesn't look like. Oh, hello. I am Zed Zalius. I am one of Vincent's uh, business associates. Oh, quite. I'm afraid you will need to excuse me. I have some very important phone calls to make. Uh, good to meet you, my friend. There's a second knot. Okay. By the way, I'll try to talk with him. I do not know why everything else's, everyone else's head is so big. I think they have a cold or something. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. You look like me. You are me. Do you understand the creepiness level of this? Do you have things? I'm taking this. This is mine now. You look like me. I'm leaving. You look like me. God dang it. What does it say? That's subjective. <laughs> I already read that. He is dead. I will proceed. And you're the murderer? And you're, and you're the, and he's the murderer. Can we, is that it? Do we win? Uh, I didn't. I mean, you're the what? That's, there's your thing back. You can have, you can have, shut up, Skype. Someone has appeared to have taken to spamming me on Skype, ladies and gentlemen. Stop looking at your taskbar. It's not yours. It's mine. And I, apo I apologize for that. I don't know who is, who thinks that's a good idea. Um... Uh, I might have to go and open up a can of Wapass really quickly. So I'll be right back. And uh, we'll, ju we'll just pause. It's not... Listen, li it's real life. You can't pause real life, obviously. Okay? But just we're just going to take a break from it really quickly. And we'll be right back. Hopefully I won't get murdered by the, by the murderer. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. I love you so much. All right. And we're back. Or did we ever leave? No, we didn't. This is real life. We could get shot. Right. We're going to go ahead and walk into uh, Riley... You don't look much like a Riley, sir. I would expect your name to be Doug. Or perhaps Vincent? Not not a Riley. You are quite... Right, um, hi. Hey! You shouldn't just waltz into people's rooms like that, Pally. Do you even know who I am, Wait, huh? Voice actor 10 out of 10 would listen Riley to you again. I'm Riley Vivel, Vincent's brother, you idiot. If you don't mind, I'd rather be left alone. So get out of here. Yeah, well, see, uh, I'm actually going to kill you, though, because you're obviously the murderer since you're so freaking poop-faced. You have nothing in your chest. You are poor and worthless. I hate you. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm sure you're a nice guy. Okay. All right. Uh, we don't need to go in there anymore. Richie Rich. You look like... Ho you're horrible. He reminds me of no one because I don't know of anything else. This is the only life that I've lived. I'm, I'm CIA, SIA, Who's that? Oh, it's you. I suppose I should introduce myself, eh? Yes. The name's Richie Rich. I'm the vice president of Vincent's business. Though Vincent's death could mean I'm the new CEO. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I see what you're saying here. So you're saying that you had reason to murder Vincent. Is that what you're saying to me, Richie Rich? Because I think it is, and if you are, then I'm going to take you right into custody, and I'm going to freaking hit you so hard that you won't even know where you are. Give me your stuff. Give me that. You have a bottle. You have a bot. He has a bottle of poison. Can we just like quit? It we know it. Who it? Oh, but the other guy said. But the other guy had to know to say he's dead. How it's how it's that was it? So there's two killers. Okay. Can I drink this? No. Okay. Good. So there's two. <laughs> so there's two killers. All right. Obviously, Richie Rich is the worst person because he has a freak. I mean, he has a bottle of poison. He killed him. It's I win. I win. I win. I mean, did I say, not the, I don't win. What am I, I real, real life. I'll, I'll get a bonus in my paycheck from the CSI, SASI. And, uh, 
and uh, move on with my life. I'll go home to my, you can have that back, but actually I need to keep that. They said you're supposed to keep these things, didn't they? I'm gonna go back and take that one guy's thing again because I can. Hi Zed, how are you today? I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and never give it back. Uh, okay, have a nice one, see ya. It's been good, it's been nice. I don't need to sprint, who needs to sprint? Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I dressed up very dapper for this uh, for this occasion. I don't really need, do I really need to wear this discreet armor? It has protection too. It's not very, it's not discreet. I mean, can we, can we be real, real talk for a sec? That's not, like, what is that? That's not discreet at all. I obviously have little cubes all around me that are glowing. I think that if you saw a person with this actually in real life, you would say either that's Lady Gaga or you are being approached by someone who had chainmail arm that was going to probably try to kill you. Because why else would they have armor on? I don't know. You don't know. You don't know at all. That's why you turn and run away. See, this is why I don't I don't believe in this armor, but we're just going to kind of forget that it's there. And uh, I think that's probably for the best. All right, can we talk about this for a second? Let's 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 pretend. That I live in a world, ah, no, this is this is crazy talk. I'm just spitballing. That I live in a world where I'm not a part of the CSI, SASI, and I know a Simon Brindley. I don't actually. Um, in fact, this name has just—I've just come to the realization that this name is actually very scary. <laughs> oh God! Oh! Oh, okay. So apparently, this map doubles as a mystery and also a fanfic. Right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, and, and interrogate Mr. Simon. Hello there. I don't think we've met, Chappie. <laughs> I'm Simon Brindley. We actually only met that Vincent fellow a few days ago, and suddenly Bish Walsh has invited me to this party. Cool, chap. Oh well. Let's not dwell on it, eh? That's right. Way to, way to keep a way to keep a positive thinking. They're uh they're Simon Brindley. Simon Brindley. Sim Simon Brindley. Give me your stuff. You don't have stuff. Punch. Good day. Cole Denier. Oh my god, you were a very grouchy fellow, aren't you? Alright, mate. Name's Cole. Pissed. Cole Denier. I've known Vincent since we were kids. It's been years since I've seen him. I'm no businessman. I'm just your average geezer. Come to see his old friend. And now this has happened. Looks like that's everyone. I need to get back to the bar and investigate this murder. That's probably a thing I would say if I, since I am a part of the CSISASI. Which, uh, stands for a thing. Let me tell you right now. Let's hop in the elevator. Oh, didn't get to finish my elevator song. It's already open. I don't need. I don't need to do that. Okay, it's actually already in there. So, this bar is closed until further notice. Is it really? I have special access, mother trucker. Oh, looks like they've turned out the lights. I hope we don't trip over. Vi um, I think I saw a blood trail back there. I should head over there. <laughs> this is no time for puns! <sighs> Alright. Hi. Hello. Oh. This is very creepy indeed. Grog. Is Grog. Let's turn on the lights. Right. So, I'm investigating, I'm currently investigating the murder, as you can plainly see. Uh, this is his head. I'm not gonna, that, that'd be rude. I can't break his head. Come on, Brock. Staff, staff only. Babby Grog. For babbies. Staff only. What? Oh, I'm not sure I like this. Oh, I'm not sure I like this one bit. Now, as a registered member of the CSISASI, I would say that this, this right here, this is evidence. But what kind of evidence are we looking at? Da -da! Oh no, the murder's not behind me. That would be a trapped chest. Now, why is there a trapped chest? Um, do we wanna... Hey, this isn't Grog. Oh, the murderer stuffed the rest of veal in this box. Lovely. 
doesn't look like the murder weapons around here. I should check the engine rooms. Of course, I should check the freaking engine. No grog left! Someone has stolen all the grog! Now I can't get drunk. Damn. I agree. I agree. With your with your drunkenness. Any more lightning? All the grog is gone. Wait, did I steal the grog? <laughs> I'm a bastard. Whoa. That was it. Not the door that I expected. Staff cabins. That's much more interesting than that. Wait, what? Please insert your... Oh, okay, so we have to go to the staff cabins to get an access ticket. Because I am a registered member of the CSISASI, and I clearly know to do these things because I'm very sneaky. Oh, hello. Some bunks down here. Hello, hello, sir. Oh. Clue. Hmm? Who are you people? People, it's just me. I saw someone else run by here earlier. What did it look like? Well, uh, he had brown hair, I believe. Clue. Brown-haired man scene. That's not really a clue. Just because you saw somebody run by doesn't mean... I mean, he could just be hurrying his way to the bathroom. To this bathroom right here, actually. Let's walk in. Just stepping on everyone's parade right now. No? Nothing? Nothing. Maybe there'll be a secret? A secret door opened only by flushing something down the toilet. Seems legit to me. I don't believe that this room is actually empty. Hidden man in the bottom bunk! Oh, he's not. Okay. Well, you know, see, sometimes as a- as- if you're a member of the CSI CSI, you have to, like, jump on- can, on like a- on like a hunch, you know? Like, that's how you- that's how you- that's how you succeed. So, that's what I did just now. Hey, you! I, I can't do a woman's voice, I apologize. I don't know- I don't know what you're doing here, but I lost my lucky brick! Could you help me find it? I know I had it when I went to the toilet, but I haven't seen it since. You fl you flush it- you flush- you flush your brick down the toilet. You flushed. You're gonna make me go and search through the toilet. You're a woman. Now, wait a minute. If I find your brick inside the man's toilet, you're actually a tranny. <laughs> I've cracked this case wide open. Investigating a mur murder gives me permission to enter the woman's toilets, right? I, I don't think you need that permission to enter the woman's toilets. Actually. Oh! Note to self. She is indeed a woman. No, it was that door. Silly duck. Tricks are for kids. I mean, silly Pierre. Oh, you found it. Why is it so wet? Maybe because you flush it down a freaking. Anyway, here have my engine room card. I'm afraid that's all I have. So you're gonna give me access to the engine room, the engine room, because I got your brick, a brick. You put a brick in a toilet, and now that I have returned it to you, you're going to give me free access to a room that is previously only accessible by staff of the ship, and I could probably go in there, take out all the engines, and therefore kill you. But because I brought your brick back, you're going to allow that to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand the implications of this? <laughs> I don't either. Let's go put this in the thing. Boop, don't know why that wasn't open. All right, let's walk on in. Walk on down. Walk on down the hall. Walk on, walk on, walk on, walk on down the hall. I turned in Pac-Man. Walk on, walk on, walk on, walk on down the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I understand there has been an incident on board the ship. Please gather in the lounge as soon as possible for your own safety. The murder Help is on the way. Thank you. The murder weapon must be around here somewhere. This is just horrifying. Engine compartment A. Let's check this. 